Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And I'm going to bring you some of the finest picks in the land today. I do it five days a week here on the video part. Over at Patreon, I do it seven days a week. And we make money, and we have lots of frolic. One thing I didn't mention on here is uh, there's a couple days when I've been... Uh, uh, we not too many, a few days where I, we haven't made money. Uh, but that was for hockey. We have ball picks, tennis picks. Actually, my tennis picks have been a little bit off, running about 55%. It's because of clay court. Clay court is so much more difficult to handicap than uh, hard and hard courts and, and grass, I find. Anyways, so... One thing I wanted to tell you, though, is, or let you know, is if you fancy yourself a person who is really good at capping, handicapping, and you want to have some fun and give me a hand, let me know down there in the comment section, which we're about to get to right now. And uh, you may find yourself the ability to make a little money doing it either. But you'll have to, uh, all you got to do is just start up on the Patreon. I'll pay for it for free. As long as you're giving it a shot and giving me picks, if you work out, I'll start thinking about some sort of payment. Uh, we're looking for a basketball, uh, lesser extent football, but we could use a football capper. Um, uh, if you do soccer, that'd be great. Whatever, whatever you think you're good at, whatever sports you think you're good at. We're good for hockey, though, because I do hockey. And I'm going to do hockey for you right now. Uh, okay, so yes, we're going to, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do the picks for uh, today or for tomorrow. Uh, after that, we're going to go into how we did yesterday. And we're also going to go, if you look in the background here, and I noticed yesterday when I did my video, I forgot to uh, move the thing back and my <laughs> the thing was all wonky when I went over to the, where the picks thing was. Silly, silly me. Anyways, uh, let's go talk. I like talking to seeing what people said in the comment section. We'll talk about that for a bit. Would you like yourself a Pearls of Wisdom necklace? I know you would. I mean, everybody in the land has one, right? It's all the talk. It's all the talk. And uh, you can have one. Just touch that subscribe button. Just, just go. Just go. Makes you feel good on your insides. Just try it. Excellent. Good job. And I'll send you one if by a Perlocopter. Hernandez and Melissa will be sending one off to you. And uh, you can enjoy that fine product. All right, let's go to um, what people had to say. That's what I should call this. What did people have to say? Uh, see you tomorrow on the live stream, said John Weichel. And he goes to my live stream. I do a stream three to five, five days a week. We do picks like this. I don't know if you can see that. I write them down. That's my chicken scratch. I write down everybody's picks, what they, uh, what, I like saying it like that, what, what uh, the score was and what the, who the winner is. And if you get it right, you get points. And at the end of the month, which is coming soon, the winner, which right now I believe is Mercer. Mr. Mercer is going to be able to dare me something reasonable to do for a month. That's one of the things. We're going to be looking at possible swag down the road and all kinds of stuff. Much frolic will be had. What up, Perlo? Thanks, John, for joining me. That was fantastic. I like Tampa Bay. If they had Martin St. Louis, a legendary player. I would like Tampa Bay if they had Martin St. Louis, too. Imagine you putting Martin St. Louis on that team now. Woo! Martin St. Louis was fantastic, Kenny R. I uh, loved him, too. Do you know that he was the only player, or sorry, he, he was the only player from a team not Pittsburgh, L.A., or Detroit, I believe, to win the MVP of the playoffs. 
for like 20 years. I don't know what those exact numbers are. Somebody look it up and put it in the comment section. Something like that. I know that because somebody asked me that as a trivia question. I took forever. I don't know if I ever figured it out, but yeah, it was a tough one. Uh, anyways, he was amazing for sure. Uh, Doug Masta, uh, Detroit, Detroit versus Columbus, Bernier versus Merzlikens. That might be under. Yes, that was my pick of the day today. Huge pearls we put on that. And it was so, so very under, wasn't it, Doug Masta? Doug Masta has been following me and a friend of mine and a Patreon member for a really long time. Love him. Great dude. Uh, Ron Sanders, always saying hi in the morning. Ronald Sanders, awesome dude. Uh, Luca the Crazy Mister asked me what time this was made. It was like early in the morning, like it's two. I, I made it like midnight to one o'clock in the morning, something last night. Thanks for commenting, Mr. Luca the Crazy. And uh, then John White, Weichel again mentioned that the Panthers lose. Uh, Weichel or Weichel, please tell me which one that is. So that's what we do there. I love your comments. Send your comments down there. Look at me. Uh, Okay, let's get to our picks. And this time, I'm going to go over back to here and move this thing. See, this was all, all awry. Oh, no, I don't want that. That stays down there. That is my Twitter. Go to my Twitter. Uh, it's uh, Perlow's NHL POW is my Twitter. Perlow's NHL POW. Ah, uh, how did I move that now? I gotta move it. It's gotta be away. There we go. That's how I move it. Okay, here we go. Turn Martin up. There we go. There, done. Okay. Now let's do our picks for the 28th, April 28th. Coming at ya. Ottawa versus Vancouver. Um, I don't like the line on this. You got to figure that Ottawa will take one of these maybe. Is Hogberg going to play really well again? Um, the problem is Ottawa plays a style that Vancouver just can't seem to figure out. It's very physical. They beat you down, and uh, I don't see them being tired, so I'm leaning the Senators here. I'd like to go the spread. You're only getting like 139, though. You're probably your best thing to do with this is go Ottawa PL on a parlay. But even that, I'm not. I'm just not a fan of Ho Ho um, Hogberg. Um, he had one good game, and now we're – betting that he has another one. Uh, also, Holpe has had a few good games as well. He's not the greatest. However, that being said, uh, yeah, I'm going over five and a half. Uh, they, they commonly go under um, in this with uh, these two teams, but those two goaltenders, I'm just going to go with the logic that they can one of the teams will score enough to push it over. In fact, I think I like the over better than anything to do with the side. Um, Minnesota versus St. Louis. I again, I like the total here. I like the over, especially if Kakinen is going to be in. Who is that is projected that he will be in right now? And I don't understand that at all. I don't know why. They would be going with Kakinen. Uh, if you get over to bet online, I'm going to try Minnesota mostly because Pareko and Dunn are out for St. Louis. And I just don't like that D-line holding up to a Minnesota offense that is in the offensive zone is like tic-tac-toe. You got to be on your game, Matt. And if, if you don't have guys to slow them down without Pareko out there, lesser extent done there's not too many guys like Falk and uh uh Krug, Krug uh Krug 
um, are not guys that are going to slow these guys down too much. In fact, they'll quite often be chasing the puck around the way Minnesota plays. Now, that being said, St. Louis has beat them the last two times. I'm thinking that this is sort of also a uh, revenge game. Um, so Minnesota will have a little bit of an edge here. However, St. Louis really needs this game. Very On the side, I'm not confident. I almost think I should be taking St. Louis since they're getting the dog money, but um, if it wasn't for Pareko and that being out, I probably would. But I like the over. Um, Toronto versus Montreal. Um, Montreal just came back from Calgary two days ago. Long road trip. Toronto has just been crushing everybody. I'm going Toronto on the money line. And again, I'm going over. I'm going over six on this game. Uh, if Montreal's tired and Toronto's playing not their best, uh, they sh there should be a lot of goals in this game, I would think. Edmonton versus Winnipeg. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with Winnipeg. I don't know what's wrong with Hollabuck. Um, until I see some continuity on the, with the Jets. Um, who did they have injured? I think Lowry was injured there. Um, oh, Ehlers, too. And uh, Edmonton is taking advantage of that. Actually, Winnipeg is having a very tough time with fast teams like Toronto and Edmonton. And I don't really know why, because they're not all that slow of a team, but uh, they are. So I'm going to take Edmonton here, money line, and I'm back to the over. You might want to look at the Grand Salami here. There's a lot of goals looking like there's going to be a lot of goals here. Vegas, ML, over five and a half. Um, Vegas has had some rest. Colorado's a little more tired. Uh, I, it's one heck of a game. I could... You could make a case for either team winning, and I wouldn't argue with you. Uh, Grubauer, I believe, should be in net, I hope, uh, for Colorado's sake, not for my bet's sake. But uh, And Vegas will probably have Flurry Again, it's hard for me not to go the over here with all this firepower, even though they have great goaltenders. I think that – and I think this is a showcase game. These, these two teams are going to be out flying. Over one and a half in the first period, probably, would be a good bet here. Uh, Anaheim versus Los Angeles. I I, I got to go back to Los Angeles. Anaheim is just they're beat up. They have injuries. They have Getzloff out. I believe even Enrique is out. They don't have hardly anybody to score, which is why on this game, I am going to go the under. Um, I don't know what the, why they're not playing Gibson. They're playing Stolars a lot. Probably just seeing if he can be a backup for them. So he could be a cheap option down the road because uh, they're out of it, right? And L.A. actually kind of still has a chance. And if you're uh, – as a player, if you have a chance, you're going to believe you can make it. And I think that they will play hard in this game and take this game. So I'll take Los Angeles. I might even – I think even in reg would be – uh, a reasonable bet here to bring this up to close to two by two uh, to a double. Um, San Jose versus Arizona. Can San Jose do it again? Is Kemper going to have a bad, two two bad games in a row? I'm not going to bet on that. Nope, nope, nope. I'm taking Arizona money line. Look at the money you're getting on Arizona. This was my pick of the night when they lost to San Jose six four. Um, haven't recently haven't lost too many of my pick of the nights. They've been really good. Um, but I'm taking Arizona here and I'm going to take the over too. San Jose's defense is just way too bad. Uh, I think they're going to put Jones in instead of Coronash. Um, but Jones has been pretty poor as well. Um, and San Jose's got enough offense that, well, obviously they scored a couple on Kemper already. So, um, I'm lesser on the over, more on the side. I like the side on that game. Okay, if that's all you were here for, and that's very important stuff, you know, and I'm sure you all have very important things to do. So off with your other lands, wherever you got to go, go talk to Guido, your bookie or whatever, and do your picks. And now we're going to go into how we did last night for anybody who wants to stick around.
I hope you, hopefully lots of you, because it's very educational. Not that I'm trying to teach you stuff, it's just what I do. Not teaching what I do, but copying is what I do. I learn, I do this, my uh, show that I do, I learn probably more copying from that, and we have like, I've said it in my show today, we have very, very uh, edu uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Knowledgeable hockey fans there, and I'm fantastic at picking, uh, and uh, just fun, they're just great guys. Lauren, uh, uh, CL, and Weichel, Serrano, Sasha, Phil T, Avatar, Hockey News Reports. Like, these guys are great. You should really want to get over there and have fun with us. I'd love to have you. Okay. Um, let's go look at our ga the games for today. Error. No error. What are you talking about error? Scores. Give me scores. Give me scores right now. How about now? How about now? What's going on? Oh, my battery is running low. Okay, so Capitals versus Islanders. I had the Capitals in my video last night. I kind of leaned back over to the Islanders when I found out that uh, Vanacek was in and then did a live bet on the Capitals after I found out that Sorokin was in for the Islanders. There's a whole bunch of goaltender changes. I don't know what happened to Barlamov, but um, we ended up getting one. I ended up getting a unit on that. I, hopefully my patrons didn't see my correction later on in the day. Uh, by the way, if you want, go to the Patreon. I'll give you a free month, and you can check it out, all the frolic we have there. People are making money. We're having fun. It'll be in the description. Um, so we got the capitals, and the bigger bet was on the under, so we did well there. Did not do well here, but we had small bets. I didn't like this game. I, I'm a Flyers fan. I should have took New Jersey. My heart said New Jersey was going to win this game. Uh, Philly's just so bad. Bad, bad, bad. For some reason, I even had the under, so we lost a little bit on both, but not much. Uh, this was huge. We had the Rangers puck line. That was big. Uh, just barely got it, got it, but we had it for large pearls, so we're up significantly on that one. Uh, we lost a little bit on the over. I thought there would be more goals in this. Who's this Lukanen guy? He is doing very well so far. Rookie for the Buffalo Sabres. Somebody to keep your eye on. Uh, Bruins versus the Penguins. We did very well on this. We had the Bruins and we had the uh, and the and the under on that one for a pearl. This was the pick of the day. Large, huge pearls we put on this one. Under all day, all day, all day. In fact, I wish now I would have asked, uh, told my clients to put way more than I did because this was such a sure bet. But put five units on there, nailed it, picked up four units, four pearls. Units, pearls, same thing. Uh, Lightning versus Blackhawks. We had the Lightning and we had the under. It was a wash. I didn't put much on it because the Lightning are just booty this year. I cannot touch the lightning. I did get them right for the first time, I think, all year. I hit the lightning correctly. Uh, did not catch well on this. I had the Predators. Uh, I don't know what happened there. They caught up to Soros. I wasn't watching it, but, man, they caught up to him in the third, much like Chicago did a little while ago. Uh, I thought the Predators were going to be able to eat this one out, but they didn't. Uh, we didn't have much on it, though. I didn't like the game because I thought it could go either way. So we just had a little bit on both. Uh, so we're, we're still up, up, very up. And we had the cur Hurricanes for medium, and we had the under for small. So up, up, up. Probably, I think when I figured it out, we were up five and a half unit, five and a half pearls today. For the week, we're up seven and a quarter pearls. Not bad. Good week so far. Uh, Another winning week is always good. Always good. We've had one losing week so far this season. Uh, and um, I got to figure, I didn't, I forgot to check the total, but we're some, somewhere around 25 to 30 units up. If you need to count every unit, I don't know. It's a lot. We're up all the time. Okay. So that's my full 42, my friends. Um, I'm 
Thank you for listening to this fine programming. Send it around to all the people in the land if you can. Get uh, some support on here so I can uh, get some more people watching, make some more people money, and most of all, just have fun. Also, the biggest thing, right? Comment down there. Tell me what your picks are, what you don't like about my picks, why, all of that stuff like that. That's my favorite thing to do. I love talking about picks. That's how I become a better capper. And uh, I learn from every, I learn how to become a better capper from everybody. Um, so uh, I have a friend named Curtis Davis. He is maybe the best hockey capper I know. Look at the best, best hockey capper I know. And uh, he is did excellent for me too. Awesome. Thank you, Curtis Davis, for all your help. Have a great day, everybody. K-Fall.